ஹே எவ்ரி ஒன் வெல்கம் டு கிளாஸ் தேர்ட்டி எயிட் ஆஃப் கேரளா பிஎஸ்சி ஹெச்எஸ்சி இங்கிலீஷ் ஸோ டுடே த கிளாஸ் இஸ் ஆன் இஎம் ஃபோஸ்டர்ஸ் எஸ்ஏ ஆன் டாலரன்ஸ் எட்வர்ட் மார்கன் ஃபோஸ்டர் ஹி வாஸ் அன் இங்கிலீஷ் ஃபிக்ஷன் ரைட்டர் ட்வெண்ட்டி எயிட் சென்ச்சுரி ரைட்டர் எஸ்ஏஸ்ட் அண்ட் லிபிரிட்டிஸ்ட் He is a member of Bloomsbury group of writers and intellectuals. Some of his famous works are A Room with a View, Howard's End, A Passage to India, Where Angels Fear to Tread, Maurice, Aspects of the Novel, etc. Then coming to our essay on tolerance, it was published soon after the end of Second World War in 1945. So the essay is about the significance of tolerance in our life. So for the foundation of a civilization, a sound state of mind is necessary. There must be a proper spirit in our mind to build a new world. Each and every one of them who are taking part in that process to build a civilization or for a new world for a better world everyone should have this sound state of mind that spirit so what is this proper spirit so when we raise this question the answer will be love that uh a spiritual quality which is needed to rebuild a civilization is love um that's right men must love one another and uh, nations also there should be you know a uh, give and take policy should be maintained but in every conditions loving is not possible especially we uh, out of love you know love means it's a very private thing we may share all our secrets in our private life so what if out of love the nations exchange their secret messages or codes it will destroy each other's peace so love is not always necessary it is according to the situation or circumstances love is a very uh, good relationship love is a great force in private life it is actually it is greatest of all things there, there are different kinds of love but when it come to public affairs it will not work it it has been tried again and again in the history by the christian civilization of the middle ages uh, during the french revolution so it has always failed so the idea that nation should love one another or that business concern or marketing boards should love one another a portugal should love a man in peru whom he has never heard it's really uh, absurd it's really strange it's unreal and it's dangerous also love is a very pure very uh, you know a very sensitive and delicate emotion it can exploit people so love should be carefully um grown among one another and it is according to the relationship it is according to the situation love is what is needed it's it's like chanting we sit back and chant this always but the fact is that love can be done um only in a personal relationship in public affairs or in rebuilding a civil uh, a civilization love is not necessary a much less dramatic and less emotional is what is needed and that is tolerance so tolerance is a very um, a dull emotion it's 
ബോറിങ് അക്കോർഡിംഗ് ടു ഇ എം ഫോസ്റ്റർ ഇറ്റ് ഹാസ് ഓൾവേസ് ഹാഡ് എ ബാഡ് പ്രസ് ഇറ്റ്സ് നെഗറ്റീവ് വെൻ യു വെൻ യു ടോളറേറ്റ് സംതിങ് വി വിൽ ഹാവ് എ നെഗറ്റീവ് ഫീലിംഗ് റൈറ്റ് സോ ഇറ്റ് മീൻസ് ദാറ്റ് വി ആർ പുട്ടിങ് അപ് വിത്ത് പീപ്പിൾ ഇറ്റ്സ് ഇറ്റ്സ് ലൈക്ക് എ കോംപ്രമൈസ് ബീങ് ഏബിൾ ടു സ്റ്റാൻഡ് തിങ്സ് വിതൗട്ട് നോ അതർ ഓപ്ഷൻ വി ഹാവ് ടു ടോളറേറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് സി വി ക്യാൻ വി ക്യാൻ ഫീൽ ദാറ്റ് ഇറ്റ്സ് സംതിങ് ഇറ്റ് ഗീവ്സ് എ നെഗറ്റീവ് സെൻസ് യു ആർ ടോളറേറ്റിംഗ് വൺ പേഴ്സൺ യു ആർ ടോളറേറ്റിംഗ് വാട്ട് എവർ അതേഴ്സ് ആർ സേയിങ് ആൻഡ് വെൻ വി ഗോ ത്രൂ ദ കാനൺ ഓഫ് ലിറ്ററേച്ചർ വർക്ക്സ് വി ക്യാൻ സീ ദാറ്റ് നോ വൺ ഹാസ് എവർ റിട്ടേൺ ആൻഡ് ഓഡ് ഓൺ ടോളറൻസ് or praised the value of tolerance this is a quality which will be most needed after the war through tolerance we get that sound state of mind which we are looking for and this is the only force which will enable different races and classes and interests to settle down together for reconstruction we have suffered too much we have accepted too much and at the end we have realized that we have to tolerate this then only we will be able to put up with things or people if we need a reconstruction or a regeneration so the world is very you know full of people different kinds of people so different people will have different interest different taste a different culture different behavior one does not know another person it it will take more than a lifetime to understand uh, a person so uh, in some cases we will not like each others behavior we will not the skin color we will not we will not like the shape of the nose the way they blow them or they don't blow them the way they walk they smell the clothes the you know the music they like so there are different matters so what we have to do and according to em foster there are two solutions and first one of them is a nazi solution that means if you don't like a person kill him if you don't like people kill them banish them segregate them and then strut up and down proclaiming that you are the salt of the earth if you don't like a person just destroy and assure that you are the very important person in this world so that is a one solution and the other is much less thrilling it is a, a some kind of a democratic way of dealing with people and em foster prefers this solution that means if you don't like people you have to put up with them as well as you can you have to tolerate them there is no other solution you will not be able to love them you will only strain yourself but you can tolerate them there is no that emotional uh, there is no emotional attachment towards them but but still we can tolerate so on the basis of that tolerance a civilized future may be built so according to em foster this is the best solution he doesn't uh, he uh, did not see another foundation for the post war world so war was really an eye opener the destruction it caused the the realization that it shattered all the values just gave the lesson of tolerance that we have to tolerate everything life is not ended it has to move on so to build up a next civilization or to rebuild for a reconstruction tolerance is necessary even if tolerance is dull and negative um it is a best solution 
because it is not much touchy it is not irritable it is not revengeful when we lose all our faith in the positive ideals we have maintained for this long time and when some great realizations comes to you know uh, comes to our life uh decisions like i will do this i will do that you know i will purge this nation i will clean up the city it's just you know like for no reason these phrases will not work because the world is not empty people are there after the second world war also there are people it's uh it's horrifying that we are we we have to be with one another one nation is mixed up with another so we don't want a third world war somehow we have to be with everyone when one city cannot be organizedly we we cannot separate ourselves from others one way or the other we are dependent on others so we cannot love them we have to just tolerate em foster then explains that tolerance is also not as great an eternally established divine principle for that he gives an example of his father's house in my father's house are many mansions in support of such a view it just it is just a makeshift a suitable for an overcrowded and overheated planet it will contain more people it will give out love it will receive love so and when all people just move away from our home that much love is also given out to them so it accepts and also gives out that much love during a gathering and also a uh, next instance is when we are in a queue when we are standing in a queue uh, our friends and also some other strangers tolerance is very important tolerance is what we want in queue the best example is the tolerance shown by the drunkards uh, in their queue how patient they are you have uh, seen it's a very a uh, usual uh, scene uh, in our in all our areas so tolerance is important otherwise we will think why will people be so slow hmm? and questions like these will be subsided the tolerance will not allow you to ask questions we are tolerating okay we will wait so tolerance is important wherever you are in the street in the office in your workplace between people between classes races nations it's it's dull it's boring but it's good you will get enough time to put yourself in someone else's place so it is somewhat a desirable spiritual exercise so that is all about the essay on tolerance by em foster okay so uh, let me give you some extra informations uh, related to this essay um here there is a mention about french revolution french revolution was lasted from 1789 to 1799 and its motto was liberty equality brotherhood then do you know what is an ode o d e it's a very usual formal poem on a serious subject then what is the meaning of salt of the earth salt of the earth means the finest or noblest people and this expression derives from a statement in the new testament of the bible 
in my father's house are many mansions this quotation is also from the new testament of the bible okay that's all uh, hope it was informative the class was informative for you module 7 basic grammar prepositions so we have been discussing on the use of some common prepositions in uh, our previous classes so this is a last class on prepositions so we'll be discussing a few more uh, prepositions so first one over over means on the top of something eyes lay over the roof there is an electric line over the house next under the box is under the table under the age of 10 like it's it's a it it has a meaning of like below then two words two words means you are going in the direction of something he walked towards the railway station i listened towards them next without without means without a book without his presence during at that time you know during the night during the class time etc so Uh, that's all about the prepositions thank you